Good morning, God bless you. Good afternoon, I guess. <laughs> it's all mixed up. A blessed Tuesday to you. We are here to pray the rosary and our prayers to the angels. So you have just a minute to get settled. continue to pray for the triumph of the Immaculate Heart, for the conversion of Russia, for peace in the Ukraine and over there. Our Lady comes as the Queen of Peace and she wants to bring peace not only to war-torn countries but to each one of our homes and our hearts, our families, our neighborhoods, our relationships, right? So we ask for that grace. We pray for those who are ill, those who've lost their faith in the Lord. Either they've grown lukewarm or cold or distracted by this world or that they've been hurt in some way and wrongly blamed to God for that. We pray for the children of the cross groups all over the world. We have such faithful children praying for priests and persecuted Christians. I have a new group in Pakistan who, even though they're always hungry, decided to fast and pray over the weekend here. And here we, the adults in the world, are led by this example of these children. We continue to pray for the $4,000 that we desperately need for um, Afghanistan. The children there are waiting and they are the hope of the world, the hope of the Middle East. We pray for Levi and Liam, for Charlie, for Colton, for Aubrey, for all those with Alzheimer's or dementia or difficulty because of their age, for those with addictions for those who have helped us in any way, our benefactors, those who've hurt anybody in any way. We pray for God's will to be done in each one of our individual lives and vocations, and for all of the intentions of these pages and of your hearts and of my heart. We trust that the Lord will provide. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. O oh, Jesus, in union with your most precious blood, poured out on the cross and offered in every Mass, I offer you today my prayers, works, joys, sorrows, and sufferings for the praise of your holy name and all the desires of your sacred heart and reparation for sin, the conversion of sinners, the union of all Christians, all of the intentions of my heart, and for our final union with you in heaven. My queen and my mother, I give myself entirely to you, and to show my devotion to you, I consecrate to you this day. My eyes, my ears, my mouth, my heart, my entire self without reserve. Wherefore, good mother, as I am thy own, keep me and guard me as thy property and possession. Amen. And we pray that prayer of Jabez. Oh, that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me and you would keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell on the third day. He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father, the Almighty. 
From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. For Pope Francis, the cardinals, the archbishops, bishops, and the priests who work for them. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase of faith. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase of hope. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase of love, charity, and conversion. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We pray on this Tuesday, the Sorrowful Mysteries of the Rosary, and we remember how Jesus prayed, Father, let this cup pass from me, but not my will, but yours be done. That was a prayer inspired by the Holy Spirit within him to align and surrender his will to the will of the Father, even when it was uncomfortable or it was difficult. And so often in our lives, we say, you know, take this cross, take this cross. But we forget to align our wills and trust that the Father knows best. And to say that second part, which is, but not my will, but yours be done. So we ask that we may have that um, ability to pray perfectly like Christ, that we may surrender and trust to the will of the Father, that we may have the divine perspective of life instead of a human misjudgment, right, or misunderstanding of situations or people, that we may have um, that infused gifts of the Holy Spirit so we may think with divine wisdom and knowledge and understanding about situations. And we ask the help of the angels in this, and we ask the help of the Holy Spirit. So we'll pray by the intercession of St. Michael and the celestial choir of seraphim. May the Lord make us worthy to burn with the fire of perfect charity. By the intercession of St. Michael and the celestial choir of cherubim, may the Lord grant us grace to leave the ways of sin and to run in the paths of Christian perfection. We pray for wisdom, knowledge, understanding, right judgment, counsel, truth, and light. And we pray, Holy Spirit, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, enter our hearts. Holy Spirit, who is equal to the Father and the Son, enter our hearts. Promise of God the Father, have mercy on us. Ray of heavenly light, have mercy on us. Author of all good, have mercy on us. Source of heavenly water, have mercy on us. Consuming fire, have mercy on us. Ardent charity, have mercy on us. Spiritual unction, have mercy on us. The agony in the garden. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The second sorrowful mystery is a scourging at the pillar and Jesus knew that we would be tempted by um, the devil and by worldly things, and by our own flesh. And so he came to give us the strength to conquer those temptations, to fight for, um, for purity, for humility, for generosity in the place of these other things. So in the scourging, he was stripped naked and he was bound the God of God and the King of Kings. Look at his utter humility when he created the whole world and his creation bound and tortured him. And he took this suffering into his flesh so that when any person is ever tempted to um, indulge, whether it be through like gluttony and food or lust and a sexual perversion or vanity to spend exorbitant amounts of money on what you look like, um, and pride and power, right? All of these things, and anger, where there's no forgiveness or gentleness or, or mercy, that 
we would have at least the grace to overcome it, he hands us that grace. We can accept it or we can, we can reject it. And it's so sad when I see people reject so much grace. And yet the Lord continues to give and give and give. And so in this mystery, we ask that none of his suffering and the scourging be in vain in our lives and the lives of those we pray for, that we can grow in, in a purity, in um, a humility, in a meekness, in a gentleness, in a generosity, in a mercy, as he was in um, the scourging at the pillar. And we ask the Holy Spirit to help us. We ask the angels to help us. By the intercession of St. Michael and the celestial choir of thrones, may the Lord infuse into our hearts a true and sincere spirit of humility. We pray for peace, purity, meekness, gentleness, humility, joy, and docility. By the intercession of St. Michael and the celestial choir of dominations, may the Lord give us grace to govern our senses and overcome any unruly passions. We pray for God's will to be made known to us, for help in perplexities, and for holy zeal, perseverance, and confidence. We pray, spirit of love and truth, have mercy on us, spirit of wisdom and understanding, have mercy on us, spirit of counsel and fortitude, have mercy on us, spirit of knowledge and piety, have mercy on us, spirit of fear of the Lord, have mercy on us, spirit of grace, prayer and surrender, have mercy on us. Spirit of peace, meekness, and humility, have mercy on us. Spirit of modesty, innocence, and purity, have mercy on us. The scourging at the pillar. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a stay, our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Russian. Radusia Maria, Blagadati Polnaya, Gaspot Staboya, Blagoslavian Natin Yezda Jonami, I Blagoslavian Plachereva Tvayevo Isus, Svetaya Maria, Mater Boja, Melissa Naskreshni, Nini v čas smrti naši amen Polish. Storovish Maria waski pauna pan s tobom. Bogoslavionish ti mienza na vastami. I bogoslavioni ovo chivota tvojego Jesus. Šventa Maria matka Boža mudlše za nami kšešnemi. Teraz i v godina i smrti naši amen Spanish. Dios te salve Maria, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italian. Ave Maria, llena de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Tu sei benedetta fra le donne, e benedetto il frutto del tuo segno, Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, adesso nell'ora della nostra morte. Amen. Latin, Ave Maria, grazia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus, fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Russian. Radusia Maria, plagada te polnaya gaspot staboyo, plagaslavian na tinez de jonami, i plagaslavian plachereva tvayevo isus. Svetaya Maria, Mater Boja Malisanas Grishni, Nini v čas smrti naši amen Polish. Strovaš Maria vaski pauna pan s tobom. Bogoslavionaš ti mienza na vastami i bogoslavioni ovo čevota tvojego Jezus. Šventa Maria, Matka Boža, mudlše za nami kšešnemi. 
terra sifcogina e smercina si amen spinish. Dios te salve Maria, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y la hora de nuestra muerte. Amen. Italian. Ave Maria, piena de gracia, el Señor y conté. Tu sei benedetta fra le donne, y benedetto el fruto del tu seno, Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, adesso nell'ora della nostra morte. Amen. Latin. Ave Maria, gracia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus, fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio, et Spiritu e Sancto, sicud erat in principio et nunc et semper, Ed in secula seculorum. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven and help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave. Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. Jesus suffered that mockery of his authority and that crowning of thorns around his head and around his heart. You know, there's no greater suffering than being mocked, especially if it's by your own people or the people that you love. People can be mean and that can hurt. But there's something very sadistic about um, mockery, right? To make fun of somebody else, to laugh at somebody else. And they took something very holy, which is the kingship of Jesus, and they mocked him. Jesus suffered all of this um, to help us when we're put on trial, right? When there's different times in our lives, you know, some people might be falsely accused and actually literally go to um, court or to jail or something, like physically, right? I'm in correspondence with a few people in prison who are very innocent. And yet, um, and they unite that to Jesus on trial. But even if that's not the ordinary cross placed on most people's lives, um, we're all put on trial for faith every day. So when you're with a group of people who don't understand why you do what you do, or you say what you say, you believe what you believe, you're, you're being put on trial and you're called to just be faithful to what the Lord has asked of you. You know, even if it's mocked as, um, you know, as, as being something below them, right? So Jesus didn't want us to suffer alone. He knew that there were cruel people in this world who would choose to reject his grace and be evil but he didn't want us to suffer alone. And so that every time we were put on trial, he would be with us and he would sustain us. And in the end, he would defend us, right? You look at St. Joan of Arc, she was tried and they, he defended her, but she got killed. But then after the fact, she was raised up as one of the greatest saints of France. God always defends us and his timing is mysterious because we would like it to be now right? Why don't you walk in this courtroom and say something to show the truth in the midst of so many lies? But 
there is um, great graces being poured out on souls that are falling into hell by us suffering um, mercifully and with great love, um, you know, being put on trial, like going through that suffering. There's a union with Christ that we get, and there's also um, there's grace and merit in that suffering itself. So in this mystery of the crowning with thorns, Jesus wants to be with you and I and everyone in the world who suffers, you know, false ac accusation, you know, a misunderstanding, a trickery, a twistedness, um, a rejection, an abandonment. And it, not only in the physical aspects of our lives, but then also interiorly, people who suffer from um, a deep darkness in their mind you know, you live what you see, and people watch so much evil. They glorify, especially it's month of October, they glorify evil. They expose children to evil, right? And what does Christ say that we're supposed to think about what is good and what is true and what is beautiful, right? So we pray for children whose souls are in danger as they're exposed to evil, and we pray that our minds may be like Christ so that we can live like Christ, right? We pray for those who are suffering, um, you know, uh, a spiritual warfare within their minds, you know, an oppression. We pray for those who struggle with, you know, interior darkness in a spiritual way, those who struggle with mental illness in any way, with depression, um, with despair, with addictions, we pray for all of them. We ask that the Lord places his crown of thorns on them and that he, um, he relieves them, that he heals them, that he strengthens them. Um, and so that's what we're going to offer this third sorrowful mystery for. We ask the intercession, of course, of the angels for all of this. By the intercession of St. Michael and the Celestial Choir of Virtues, may the Lord preserve us from evil and falling into temptation. We pray for the grace to carry out the will of God for the government of seasons and elements, for those in public office and for extraordinary needs of mind and body. And by the intercession of St. Michael and the Celestial Choir of Powers, may the Lord protect our souls against the snares and temptations of the devil. We pray for the powers to fight against the evil spirits set to destroy the great plans of God. We ask for strength, courage, and fortitude. Holy Spirit, the Comforter, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit, the Sanctifier, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit, who governs the church, have mercy on us. Gift of God the Most High, have mercy on us. Spirit who fills the universe, have mercy on us. Spirit of the adoption of the children of God, have mercy on us. The crowning with thorns. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The fourth um, sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross, and in this mystery, we see how Jesus picked up and carried his cross in obedience to the Father. And he says to us, if you wish to be my disciple, pick up your cross and follow me. And don't drag it. And don't complain and don't be consumed with self-pity. Pick up your cross and follow me. A beautiful life is a life of sacrifice. Two people come to mind right now. Mother Teresa, who is so beautiful. She was voted the number one most powerful person of the 20th century when they, I think it was Time Magazine or something, did a, um, a poll at the, you know, in the year 2000. Mother Teresa made the biggest impact on humanity. Why? She was set up consumed with sacrifice. She didn't think about herself. She loved. That's authentic love. And I think about a gentleman in France, I ask for prayers for him, a very holy man who has done so much for the church and world, and right now is just consumed in suffering and sacrifice. We ask the Lord to heal him completely and to provide what he needs to continue his powerful work in the world. He's truly a victim soul. God wants us to learn sacrifice. It makes me have so much joy when I'm with children that I'm taking care of. Like in my family, of course, they understand sacrifice, right? My family raises their children correctly. <laughs> but um, oftentimes I'm with children who have been kind of spiritually neglected in a way. And um, I love teaching that concept of sacrifice. I think about these children in Pakistan. They had never heard of sacrifice until this weekend when my translator took my books and went to them to start the Children of the Cross prayer groups. They were so excited to pray and fast for persecuted Christians that even though they're hungry and people come to their village once or twice a month to hand out food because they're starving and they brought really good food this weekend, these children said, no, we're going to sacrifice this for persecuted Christians. We're going to fast. It reminds me of the children at Fatima, right? Lucia and Jacinta and Francesca. 
And then they took it a step further. They said, not only are we not going to eat, we're going to take the food to the next village and feed the poor there while not eating ourselves. Sacrifice. Sacrifice is so beautiful. It makes people beautiful. You know, people spend millions of dollars on trying to be beautiful, and it's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, the best makeup, the best clothes, you know, all way, all these ways of altering somebody's like image. You know what makes you beautiful is love and sacrifice and Medjugorje. Our lady just radiates such a beauty and the children asked her, why are you so beautiful? And she said, only because I love, I love. So in this mystery, let's pray that we can take up our cross and follow Jesus in that Holy Spirit of obedience and of sacrificial love. That we persevere in this life of Christianity in a world that's pagan. We ask the intercession of the angels and the help of the Holy Spirit. By the intercession of St. Michael and the Celestial Choir of Principalities, May God fill our souls with a true spirit of obedience. We ask them to guard all nations, to help those in authority and those who govern bodies and souls. By the intercession of St. Michael and the Celestial Choir of Archangels, may the Lord give us perseverance and faith and in all good works in order that we may attain the glory of heaven. Amen. Holy Spirit, inspire us with the horror of sin. Holy Spirit, come and renew the face of the earth. Holy Spirit, shed thy light in our souls. Holy Spirit, engrave thy law in our hearts. Holy Spirit, aflame us with the flame of thy love. Holy Spirit, open to us the treasure of thy grace. Holy Spirit, teach us to pray well. The carrying of the cross. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Russian, we pray for the conversion of Russia. We pray for our mission in Russia, for the Russian translations for the Polish vendors, for this trip coming up, just for our work in Eastern Europe and, and throughout Russia. Radusia Maria, Blagadati Polnaya, Gaspod Staboyu, Blagoslavienna Timiezdu Zonami, I Blagoslavien Plodchereva, Tvajevo Isus, Svetaya Maria, Mater Boja, Malisa Nas Grishni, Nini v čas mirti naši, amen. Polish, strovaš Maria, waski pełna, pan s tobą. Bogosławionaš ti między nawestami, bogosławioni owo żywota Twojego, Jezus. Święta Maria, Matka Boża, mudl się za nami grzesznymi. Teraz i w godzina i śmierci nasi, amen. Spienesz, Dios te salve Maria, jena reis de gracia el Señores contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadori, ahora y la hora de nuestra muerte, amen. Italian. Ave Maria, piena de grazia, il Signore con te. Tu sei benedetta fra le donne, e benedetto il frutto del tuo segno, Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, adesso nell'ora della nostra muerte. Amen. Latin. Ave Maria, grazia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, or pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Russian. Radusia Maria, blagadati polnaya, gaspodsta boyu, blagoslavien natimiesh dejonami, 
i blagoslavie plačreva Tvajevo Isus. Svetaja Marija, Mater Boža, malisa nas krešni, nini v čas smirti naši, amen, poleš. Strovaš Marija vaski, pauna pan s tabo, bogoslavio naš timjen za nevestami i bogoslavio ni ovo čevota Tvajego Jezus. Šventa Marija, Matka Boža, mudlše za nami kšešnemi, teraz i v godina i šmerči naši, amen, spjeneš. Dios te salve Maria, llena eres de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Bendita tu eres entre todas las mujeres, y bendito el se fruto de vientre Jesús. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega por nosotros pecadores, ahora y a la hora de nuestra muerte. Amén. Italia, Ave Maria, llena de gracia, el Señor es contigo. Tu sei benedetta fra le donne, i benedetto il frutto del tuo segno, Gesù. Santa Maria, Madre di Dio, prega per noi peccatori, adesso e nell'ora della nostra morte. Amen. Latin. Ave Maria, grazia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus, fructus ventris tui, Gesù. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, or pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostri. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio, et Spiritui Sancto, sicud erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven. Help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit. Come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The fifth sorrowful mystery is the crucifixion and death of our Lord. In this mystery, we meditate on that ultimate sacrifice of Christ, his crucifixion and his death. We pray that his sacrifice may bear fruit in our lives. Every time we go to Mass, we re-enter that Garden of Calvary and we're recreated with that blood of Christ. In this mystery, we pray to never take for granted the gift of the Mass. We pray that priests understand the importance of the Mass as being central to the laity's life and to make all sacrifices to provide the Mass for them. We pray that the Eucharist may never be shut away from us again. We pray that Eucharistic adoration may be the center of everything of our lives. We pray in reparation for all of the evil being done against the Eucharist by Satanists and those who do not know and love and respect Jesus. We pray for those stuck in the darkest evil that they may be awakened by our gentle shepherd calling to them through the Eucharist, through Mass, through the cross. By the intercession of St. Michael and the celestial choir of guardian angels, may the Lord grant us to be protected by them in this mortal life and conducted in the life to come to heaven. And we pray in a special way that the Holy Spirit intercede for us in this mystery for all of our most dire needs. Holy Spirit, enlighten us with thy heavenly inspirations. Holy Spirit, lead us in the way of salvation. Holy Spirit, grant us the only necessary knowledge. Holy Spirit, inspire in us the practice of good. Holy Spirit, grant us the merit of all virtue. Holy Spirit, make us persevere in justice. Holy Spirit, be our everlasting reward. 
the crucifixion and death of our Lord. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Come, Holy Spirit. Come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, thy well-beloved spouse. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Hail, Holy Queen. Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious advocate, thy eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O holy Mother of God, that we be made worthy of the promises of Christ, let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating on the mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we may imitate what they contain and obtain all they promise, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, 
that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, our mother. To thee do we come, before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer us. Amen. O Saint Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so prompt before the throne of God, I place in you all of my interests and desires. O Saint Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, I never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name. Kiss his fine head for me. Ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. O Saint Joseph, terror of demons, cast thy solemn gaze upon the devil and his minions. Protect us with thy mighty staff. You fled through the night to avoid the devil's wicked designs. Now, with the power of God, smite the demons as they flee from you. Grant special protection, we pray, for children and the unborn, our families and relationships, work and ministries, homes and possessions, for persecuted Christians, priests, and the dying. By God's grace, no demon dares approach while you're near. So we beg of you, St. Joseph, always be near to us. Amen. St. Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Seraphim, and Cherubim, thrones and dominions, Virtues, powers, principalities, archangels, and guardian angels, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O princes of the heavenly hosts, by the divine power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit. Angels of God, our guardians dear, to whom God's love commits us here, ever this day be at our side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. And we pray St. Patrick's breastplate prayer. I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation. I arise today through the strength of Christ's birth with his baptism through the strength of his crucifixion with his burial, through the strength of his resurrection with his ascension, through the strength of his descent for the judgment of doom. I arise today through the strength of the love of the cherubim, in the obedience of the angels, the service of the archangels, and the hope of resurrection to meet with reward, in the prayers of patriarchs, predictions of prophets, and the preaching of apostles and the faith of confessors, in the innocence of holy virgins and the deeds of righteous men. I arise today through the strength of heaven, the light of the sun, the radiance of the moon, the splendor of fire, the speed of lightning, the swiftness of wind, the depth of the sea, the stability of the earth and the firmness of rock. I arise today through God's strength to pilot me, God's might to uphold me, God's wisdom to guide me, God's eye to look before me, God's ear to hear me, God's word to speak for me, God's hand to guard me, God's shield to protect me, God's host to save me from the snares of the devil, from temptations of vices, from everyone who wishes me ill afar and near. I summon today all these powers between me and those evils against every cruel and merciless power that may oppose my body and soul against incantations of false prophets and black laws of pagandom, false laws of heretics and the craft of idolatry, against spells of witches and smiths, wizard saintness and warlords, and against every knowledge that corrupts man's body and soul. Jesus Christ to shield me today against poison and burning, choking and suffocating, destruction and accidents, pestilence, infestation and plague against drowning and wounding, sickness and calumny, against jealousy, competition, blocking and division, rash or false judgment, vanity, selfishness, and pride, against anger and lust, dishonesty and betrayal, denial, abandonment, rejection, indifference, and unfaithfulness, 
and against every evil that could come against me or those for whom I pray, so there may come to us instead an abundance of reward. Jesus Christ be with me, Jesus Christ before me, Jesus Christ behind me, Jesus Christ in me, Jesus Christ beneath me, Jesus Christ above me, Jesus Christ on my right, Jesus Christ on my left, Jesus Christ when I lie down, Jesus Christ when I sit down, Jesus Christ when I arise, Jesus Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me, Jesus Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of me, Jesus Christ in every eye that sees me, and Jesus Christ in every ear that hears me. I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation. Amen. And we want to pray, since we missed the rosary yesterday, we're going to pray the consecration to the Holy Spirit and for the seven gifts, and then we'll do the consecration to the angels. On my knees before the great multitude of heavenly witnesses, I offer myself, soul and body, to you, eternal Spirit of God. I adore the brightness of your purity, the unerring keenness of your justice, and the might of your love. You are the strength and light of my soul. In you I live and move and am. I desire never to grieve you by unfaithfulness to grace, and I pray with all my heart to be kept from the smallest sin against you. Mercifully guard my every thought and grant that I may always watch for your light and listen to your voice and follow your gracious inspirations. I cling to you and give myself to you and ask you by your compassion to watch over me in my weakness. Holding the pierced feet of Jesus and looking at his five wounds, trusting in his precious blood and adoring his open side and stricken heart, I implore you, adorable spirit, helper of my infirmity, so to keep me in your grace that I may never sin against you. Give me grace, O Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Father and the Son, to say to you always and everywhere, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. O Lord Jesus Christ, who before ascending into heaven promised to send the Holy Spirit to finish your work in the souls of your apostles and disciples, deign to grant the same Holy Spirit to me that he may perfect in my soul the work of your grace and love. Grant me the spirit of wisdom that I may despise the perishable things of this world and aspire only after things that are eternal. The spirit of understanding to enlighten my mind with the light of your divine truth. The spirit of counsel that I may ever choose the surest way of pleasing God and gaining heaven. The spirit of fortitude that I may bear cross, my cross with you and that I may overcome with courage all the obstacles that oppose my salvation the spirit of knowledge that I may know God, know myself, and grow perfect in the science of the saints, the spirit of piety that I may find the service of God sweet and amiable, the spirit of fear that I may be filled with a loving reverence toward God and may dread in any way to displease him. Mark me, dear Lord, with the sign of your true disciples and animate me in all things with your spirit. Amen. The consecration to all of the holy angels. O holy angels of God, here in the presence of the triune God and in the love of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Redeemer, I, Mary Elizabeth Ann Klaska, a poor sinner, want to make a covenant with you who are his servants, so that in union with you I might work with humility and fortitude for the glory of God and the coming of his kingdom. Therefore, I implore you to assist me, especially in the adoration of God and the most holy sacrament of the altar in the contemplation of the word and the salvific works of God, in the imitation of Christ and in the love of his cross, in a spirit of expiation, in the faithful fulfillment of my mission within the church, serving humbly after the example of Mary, my heavenly mother, your queen, and you, my good guardian angel, who continually behold the face of our Father in heaven, God entrusted me to you from the very beginning of my life. I thank you with all of my heart for your loving care, and I commit myself to you and promise you my love and fidelity. I beg you to protect me against my own weakness and against the attacks of the wicked spirits. Enlighten my mind and heart so I may always know and accomplish the will of God, and lead me to union with God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And the consecration to St. Michael. O most noble prince of the angelic hierarchies, valorous warrior of Almighty God, 
zealous lover of his glory, terror of the rebellious angels, love and delight of the just angels, my beloved archangel, St. Michael, desiring to be numbered among your devoted servants, I today offer and consecrate myself to you and place myself, my family, and all I possess under your most powerful protection. I entreat you not to look at how little I, your servant, have to offer, being only a wretched sinner, but to gaze rather with favorable eye at the heartfelt affection with which this offering is made. And remember that if from this day onward I'm under your patronage, you must during all of my life assist me and procure for me the pardon of my many grievous offenses and sins, the grace to love with all of my heart, my God and Savior Jesus, and my sweet mother Mary, and to obtain for me all the help necessary to arrive at my crown of glory. Defend me always from my temporal and spiritual enemies, particularly in the last moments of my life. Come then, O glorious Prince, and succor me in my last struggle with your powerful weapon cast far from me into the infernal abyss, that provocator and proud angel that one day you prostrated in the celestial battle. Amen. Lord of mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord of mercy. Christ hear us, Christ graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, Queen of the angels, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of virgins, pray for us. Saint Michael, who was ever the defender of the people of God, pray for us. Saint Michael, who drove from heaven Lucifer and his rebel crew, pray for us. Saint Michael, who cast into hell the accuser of his brethren, pray for us. Saint Michael, filled with the wisdom of God, pray for us. Saint Michael, perfect adorer of the incarnate word, pray for us. Saint Michael, crowned with honor and glory, pray for us. Saint Michael, most powerful prince of the armies of the Lord, pray for us. Saint Michael, standard bearer of the most holy trinity, pray for us. Saint Michael, victor over Satan, pray for us. Saint Michael, guardian of paradise, pray for us. Saint Michael, guide and comforter of the people of Israel, pray for us. Saint Michael, splendor and fortress of the church militant, pray for us. Saint Michael, honor and joy of the church triumphant, pray for us. Saint Michael, light of the angels, pray for us. Saint Michael, bul bulwark of orthodox believers, pray for us. Saint Michael, strength of those who fight under the standard of the cross, pray for us. Saint Michael, light and confidence of souls at the hour of death, pray for us. Saint Michael, our most sure aid, pray for us. Saint Michael, our help in all adversities, pray for us. Saint Michael, herald of the everlasting sentence, pray for us. Saint Michael, consoler of souls detained in the flames of purgatory, pray for us. Saint Michael, who the Lord is charged to receive souls after death, pray for us. Saint Michael, our prince and advocate, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, who expounded to Daniel the heavenly vision, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, who foretold to Zachary the birth and ministry of John the Baptist, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, who announced to the Blessed Mary the incarnation of the divine word, pray for us. Saint Raphael, I'm sorry, Saint Gabriel, who guided Joseph in dreams, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, glorious archangel, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, strength of God, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, who stands before the throne of God, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, model of prayer, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, herald of the incarnation, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, who revealed the glories of Mary, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, Prince of Heaven, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, ambassador of the Most High, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, guardian of the Immaculate Virgin, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, who foretold the greatness of Jesus, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, peace and light of our souls, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, scourge of unbelievers, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, admirable teacher, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, strength of the just, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, protector of the faithful, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, first adorer of the divine word, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, defender of the faith, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, zealous for the honor of Jesus Christ, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, whom the scriptures praise as the angel sent by God to the Mary the Virgin, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, who foretold the birth of John the Baptist, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, who guided Joseph in dreams, pray for us. 
St. Raphael, who led Tobias safely through his journey to his home again, pray for us. St. Raphael, who delivered Sarah from the devil and arranged her marriage, pray for us. St. Raphael, who restored sight to Tobias the Elder, pray for us. St. Raphael, filled with the mercy of God, pray for us. St. Raphael, perfect adorer of the divine word, pray for us. St. Raphael, terror of demons, pray for us. St. Raphael, exterminator of vices, pray for us. St. Raphael, health of the sick, pray for us. St. Raphael, our refuge in trial, pray for us. St. Raphael, guide of travelers, pray for us. St. Raphael, consoler of prisoners, pray for us. St. Raphael, joy of the sorrowful, pray for us. St. Raphael, filled with seal for the salvation of souls, pray for us. St. Raphael, whose name means God heals, pray for us. St. Raphael, lover of chastity, pray for us. St. Raphael, scourge of demons, pray for us. St. Raphael, in pestilence, famine, sickness, and war, pray for us. St. Raphael, angel of peace and prosperity, pray for us. St. Raphael, endowed with the grace of healing and deliverance, pray for us. St. Raphael, sure guide in the path of virtue and sanctification, pray for us. St. Raphael, help of those who implore your assistance, pray for us. St. Raphael, who is the guide and consolation of Tobias on his journey, pray for us. St. Raphael, whom the scriptures praise, Raphael, the holy angel of God sent to cure, pray for us. St. Raphael, our advocate, pray for us. Angels of heaven who are our guardians, pray for us. Angels of heaven who we revere as our superiors, pray for us. Angels of heaven who give us charitable counsel, pray for us. Angels of heaven who give us wise direction, pray for us. Angels of heaven who take the place of a tutor, pray for us. Angels of heaven who love us tenderly, pray for us. Angels of heaven who are our consolers, pray for us. Angels of heaven who are attached to us as good brothers, pray for us. Angels of heaven who instruct us in the duties and truth of salvation, pray for us. Angels of heaven, who are to us charitable shepherds, pray for us. Angels of heaven, who are witnesses of our actions, pray for us. Angels of heaven, who help us in all our undertakings, pray for us. Angels of heaven, who continually watch over us, pray for us. Angels of heaven, who intercede for us, pray for us. Angels of heaven, who carry us in my hands, pray for us. Angels of heaven, who direct us in all our ways, pray for us. Angels of heaven who defend us with zeal, pray for us. Angels of heaven who conduct us with wisdom, pray for us. Angels of heaven who guard us from danger, pray for us. Angels of heaven who dissipate darkness and enlighten the mind, pray for us. All you holy angels who stand around the high and lofty throne of God, please pray for us. Who cry to him continually, holy, 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 pray for us who dispel the darkness of our minds and give us light, pray for us, who are messengers of heavenly things to men, pray for us, who have been appointed by God to be our guardians, pray for us, who always behold the face of our Father in heaven, pray for us, who rejoice over one sinner doing penance, pray for us, who struck the sodomites with blindness, pray for us, who led Lot out of the midst of the ungodly, pray for us, who ascended and descended on the ladder of Jacob, pray for us. Who delivered the divine law to Moses on Mount Sinai, pray for us. Who brought good tidings when Christ was born, pray for us. Who ministered to him in the desert, pray for us. Who comforted him in his agony, pray for us. Who sat in white garments at his sepulcher, pray for us. Who appeared to the disciples as he went up to heaven, pray for us who shall go before him bearing the standard of the cross when he comes to judge, pray for us. Who will gather together the elect at the end of the world, pray for us. Who will separate the wicked from the just, pray for us. Who offer to God the prayers of those who pray, pray for us. Who assist us now and at the hour of our death, pray for us. Who carried Lazarus into Abraham's bosom, pray for us who conduct the he to heaven the souls of the just, pray for us, who perform signs and wonders by the power of God, pray for us, who are sent to minister for those who shall receive the inheritance of salvation, pray for us, who are set over kingdoms and provinces, pray for us, who have often put to flight armies of the enemies, pray for us, who have often delivered God's servants from prison and other perils of this life, pray for us, 
who have often consoled the holy martyrs in their torments, pray for us, who cherish with peculiar care the bishops of the church, pray for us, all you holy orders of blessed spirits, pray for us, from all dangers, deliver us, O Lord, through the angels, from the snares of the devil, deliver us, O Lord, through the angels, from all heresy and schism, deliver us, O Lord, through the angels, from plague, famine, sickness, and war, deliver us, O Lord, through the angels, from sudden and unexpected death, deliver us, O Lord, through the angels, from everlasting death, deliver us, O Lord, through the angels. We sinners beseech thee, Lord, hear us. Through the holy angels, we beseech thee, Lord, hear us. That thou would spare us, we beseech thee, Lord, hear us. That thou would pardon us, we beseech thee, Lord, hear us. That thou would govern and preserve your holy church, we beseech thee, Lord, hear us. That thou would protect our bishop and all the ministers of the church, we beseech thee, Lord, hear us. That thou would grant peace and security to all country rulers, we beseech thee, Lord, hear us that thou would give and preserve the fruit of the earth, we beseech thee, Lord, hear us, that thou would grant eternal rest to all the faithful departed, we beseech thee, Lord, hear us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, O Lord. Bless the Lord, all you angels, you who are mighty in strength, who fulfill his commands, listening to the voice of his words. He has given his angels charge over you to keep you in all of your ways. Let us pray. O God, who arranges the service of angels and men in a wonderful order, mercifully grant that our life may be protected on earth by those who always do your service in heaven. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, who with thee and the Holy Spirit are one God, now and forever. Amen. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make our hearts like unto thine. O sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate and sorrowful heart of Our Lady, pray for us. Our Lady of Good Refuge and Our Lady of Mercy, pray for us. Good Saint Joseph, pray for us. Michael Gabriel Raphael, pray for us. All you holy angels, pray for us. Saint Therese of Lisieux, pray for us. Saint John of the Cross, pray for us. Saint Teresa of Avila, pray for us. St. Edith Stein, pray for us. St. Faustina, pray for us. St. Charbel and St. Charles de Foucault, St. Miriam the Little Arab, pray for us. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, pray for us. Jude and Rita, pray for us. St. Philomena, pray for us. St. Matthias, Barnabas, Timothy, and Titus, pray for us. St. Peter and Paul, pray for us. St. Xenia and Cajetan, pray for us. St. Zita, St. Gemma, pray for us. St. Elizabeth of Hungary and Elizabeth of Portugal, pray for us. All of you holy angels, pray for us. All of you martyrs, pray for us. All of you saints, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Thank you for praying on this Tuesday. Please continue to pray that we can... Um, receive donations, big donations for Afghanistan. The persecuted Christians have requested a copy of this book, Mornings with Mary, that we use in our rosary every day. And we've paid for it to be translated into Dari, which is the native language of Afghanistan. And yet we don't have the money to print it or transport it. And we need several thousand dollars. And it is really an important work. We have many prayer groups of children set up who pray and yet they don't even have a handbook on how to say the Hail Mary, right? Imagine the St. Michael prayer, the chaplet of divine mercy, being prayed for the first time in the native language over there. What graces of peace can come to the world and that barren land. So we, I beg for your prayers and for anyone who could send donations. It would be really helpful. Um, and you can contact me privately for that. So God bless you. Have a blessed Tuesday and I'll be back tomorrow.